So if you have a child who plays sports, you probably already know about the real risk of concussions. It's out there after a fall, an injury, something happens in a game. Maybe you've wondered if your student athlete had a concussion. Well, tonight, Abbott Laboratory says it has now been given FDA clearance for the first commercially available blood test that Abbott says can help diagnose a concussion. Our Aaron Jones talking to the experts tonight on what difference, if any, this new test could make. A specialist in concussions. As a doctor of physical therapy, uh, Sally Fryer Dietz around. specializes in helping people recover from concussions. You know, any kind of a blow to the central nervous system, meaning your head or your tailbone, can cause a concussion. When it comes to young people, the Texas Education Agency says traumatic brain injury has become known as the silent epidemic. 6,000 Texas children hospitalized with TBI a year, 1,300 of those cases resulting in long-term disability. Sports injuries are definitely up there. Texas has the highest number of student athletes playing sports. So, you know, concussions, we have a much greater incidence of them just because of the number of kids that are actually out there playing. Dietz says on the field, there should always be someone who is designated to screen for a concussion. If there are red flags, the athlete should be pulled from play. They'll need to see a medical doctor who will officially diagnose a concussion. Are there a lot of cases where a concussion goes undetected? Probably, probably more often than not, they go undetected. Abbott Laboratories says it's cases like this where its new commercially available lab-based blood test can be helpful. It measures two indicators in the blood that in elevated concentrations are tightly correlated to brain injury. The test takes about 15 minutes and would help doctors evaluate patients with a mild TBI by ruling out the need for a CT scan, which can be pricey. The more tools you have available to you to look at, you know, truly putting together a firm diagnosis, I think that's always helpful. Do you absolutely need to have a blood test? I don't think so. Dietz says there's other ways to tell if someone has had a concussion based on a collection of symptoms they'll show. She says the most important thing to remember is... If you're not feeling quite right to any degree, you know, having a specialist in concussions who looks at the big picture of how you're, uh, how you're performing and thinking and doing things can be really helpful in your recovery. She says don't discount your health. You don't want to put yourself at risk for future injuries. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS News, Texas.